Hi, it's Rick from Make Sense. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how I built a six degrees of separation program. So in short, what I did was I used Python and the MovieDB API to link two actors to each other, to the films they played in and the actors they played with. Now let's get started with something most people will be familiar with, six degrees of Kevin Bacon. So the idea behind Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon is that Kevin Bacon has worked with everybody in Hollywood or someone who's worked with them. Now, if we look at the numbers, Kevin Bacon has worked on 99 films, projects, documentaries. He was in them with 2,148 people. Those 2,148 people were themselves in 34,437 other films. On those other films, another 208,714 people worked. They worked on another 261,122 films with another 593,917 people. So that's kind of showing the scope of the exponential growth of the amount of collaborations and how we'll get to make those connections. And some examples of those connections. When we look at John Candy, he was in Planes, Trains and Automobiles with Kevin Bacon. Brie Larson was in Basmati Blues with Donald Sutherland, who was in JFK with Kevin Bacon. Catherine McGuire was in Sherlock Jr. with Buster Keaton who was in The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn with Pat McCormick, who was in Frost Nixon with Kevin Bacon. Now, for the actual Six Degrees of Anyone program, we don't just want to make connections between Kevin Bacon and other people. We want to be able to just make a connection between any two actors. So. What we want to do, if you have the idea of showing people the films they worked in and, and get that entire graph up, when we have the first person marked A and the second person marked B, we want to find the shortest connection between those two people. Now, how are we going to do that? We are going to start with the first person, person A. We're going to look one by one at all the people they worked with. If we find the person we're looking for in the people they worked with, great. If we don't, we look at the next level. We look at the people who worked with the people they worked with. So we start looking at all those people again. And then when we find the actual solution, we are at the end. This is called the bread first search. Why are we using the bread first search? We want to find the shortest chain. We don't want to have the fastest answer. We don't want an algorithm that's as fast as possible. We just want to specifically find the shortest chain. And that is why we need to go over every single one of the people they worked with in each level. So something else we also want to include in the program. We don't just want to know the uh, how far every single person is connected to each other. We also want to know the entire chain that took us to get there. We want to know every single film person that's in between these two people. What we also want to know is, usually there's multiple films and multiple people in between them. We want to know all these different people just because sometimes some connections may be more interesting than other connections. So we don't just want to stop the program the moment we find one connection. Now, for the implementation, we're looking at Python and we're getting our information from the MovieDB. The MovieDB has an API. Thanks to the MovieDB API, we can retrieve information for a person by the person ID and we can append to the response the credits this person has worked on. We can also do a call for a movie where we get the information about the movie, including the credits, so all the people who worked on the movie. So when we look at Postman, the call basically looks like this. And the call for the credits in Postman basically looks like this. 
so while our program is running, we have to keep some data uh, in memory. For instance, we keep data about the different people we are uh, handling. That data includes a person ID, so the ID of that person in the OpenMovieDB. We include the name of the person and we include the chains. Now these chains is all the films and people that are between the start person and this person. And we also want to record if this person has been enriched. More about that later, but that's basically if we handle this person, if uh, we've done, done everything we want to do with this person, this person will show up as enriched. Then there is for the film, we do a similar thing where based on the ID of the film, we record if it's been enriched. And then we also have the result chains. The result chains is a list with all the chains. So uh, combinations of film and uh, actors that lead from the start to the uh, result, the person we're looking for. So whenever we find this connection, we will add this to the result chains. And then uh, when we've done every person on a specific level, we can check, is there something in the result chains? If there is something in the result chains, we know we found a result. So how does the program itself works? Well, we start the program with just putting the first person, the start person in our list of people. He hasn't been enriched yet. He's got no chains on him because he's just the one person. We don't have any films yet. We don't have any results yet because this is just the start of everything. Now for this person, we're gonna take him. We are getting the credits for person. So that's that movie DB call. And we do a call for every single film this person has worked on. And then per film, we will do another call where we get all the credits for the film. And then we get all the people who worked on that film, of course one of the people who's already we've already handled because that's the actual person we're looking at uh, we're doing the call for because since we get the credits for the film and the peop the person has been in that film uh, he's gonna show up in those credits we don't want to handle this person we're already handling them so basically what we're doing is for the other people we're looking at oh is this person the person we're looking for? If they are great, we can add that to the results. Otherwise, we add them to the people to be handled. And we basically do that with every person on this film. Once we've looked at every single person in the film, we can go on to the next film and we set this film as enriched. Then for the next film and the next film, and while we're doing that, we're gonna add more and more people. So all the people who are connected to this first person in the first degree through one film, we will add those to our list, all the while saying like, oh yes, we have handled these films. And once we've done all the films for one person, then we will set this person to enrich. That's the enriched flag. And the next step is that we start from the first person who's not been enriched. And again, we get all the credits for the person. Of course, this time there may be some films that were already handled because the person may have worked on some films that other people have worked on. And again, we are looking at every film that has not been handled yet. We are getting the credits for the film. And then let's say that in those credits for the film, we found the person we're looking for, which means that we are adding the chain, but this is not where it stops because we want to look at every single person who's worked on the first degree because we want all those different options for the chains. And then when we have looked at all the people in this case on the first uh, degree connection, and we find someone, then we end the program in case the actual person would only be on the second degree, uh, third degree, fourth degree, of course, we keep going. So in this case, we, we find the connection by uh, in 
the second degree by looking at all the people who are in the first degree. And that's how the program works. Now, of course, it's always interesting to keep working on the program. And here are some things I would like to implement going forward. For instance, it might be interesting to have a different way to get info. Now, uh, the movie DB just shows everything. TV shows uh, where people might just be interviewed as a guest, uh, documentaries, and it might be nice to have a way to only have feature films. Aside from that, the movie DB also shows projects that are still in development, so they may never actually be finished. And in that case, you're making connections between people who have not actually worked with each other. So it might be interesting to find a different API or maybe even write a scraper for IMDB, although that would take a lot more time to do all the scraping. Aside from that, it might be interesting to think with program, think of a different search algorithm. Now, as I mentioned in this video, we're trying to find the, all the connections, all the shortest connections. And that's why we've got the bread first search algorithm, but maybe there are ways to find a link faster. We might need to make more f connections to actually get to the person, but that might be a, a way. So that's the end of the video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if there's things I could be doing a lot better, do let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I hope I'll be making more and uh, see you later. Thank you very much.